Hello mate, in this video we will install the NetHunter rootless and uh, also pick the issues uh, as well that we face in Android 12 and 13 like the blank screen of PNC and uh, browser crashes. As you can see I will use the official install script mentioned in the docs to install the NetHunter rootless. So I will download the script only, you can follow the docs as mentioned. By the way, I have already downloaded the full variant of Kali rootfs, so the script won't download it. The script will check for the rootfs. If it's not there, it will prompt you to download it first. So I already have it, so it won't uh, download it. So the script is downloaded, and it's time to execute it. So here after executing this script uh, you will get three options the full version, nano version and the minimal one so I will go with the full version installation as we also have to fix the VMs right so the extraction will take around 6 minutes to extract the root of it by the way it totally depends on your device so sometimes it may take more time ok now here you can see the installation is done and uh, the user's commands are shown on the display uh, now you can see the nh i mean nh command and net hunter commands are placed in the terminal so now you can execute it to get the kali net hunter cell or you can also use these scripts to execute commands in your net hunter environment right so this is your uh, Net enter cell. By the way, now uh, if you are using Android 11 or older than 11, then you are good to go. You can use GUI and CLI. But if you will face the issue like tank screen and uh, browsers are crashing, then you can see the full video now. Okay, so here let's uh, execute NHKX to run the VNC server to test out if GUI is working or not ok on the first NHKX run it will uh, prompt to enter a new password for your VNC server so you can set your password here and uh, after that you can see it's uh, running on display 1 which is uh, the port number is 5901 now we can connect uh, through any VNC we were at to our VNC server So here I'm using real VNC's uh, VNC client app. So after authentication, we'll get the GUI here. Okay, so here's the blank screen, right? By the way, the blank screen it doesn't mean that VNC server isn't working. It means the VNC server is working, but the GUI isn't working. I mean the desktop environment that we are using which is the uh, xfce4 okay here i forgot to put ampersand after the command kex so if this is text then you need to open a new cell and run nhkex stop to stop the vnc server instance okay now it's good so whenever you have to run vnc server always put ampersand after kex now Let's check what uh, X startup file contains and we'll try to fix it. So for this, navigate to X startup file and check what it contains. Okay, so it mentioned that start XFCE4 is executed when we start VNC server. Okay, now what we have to do is uh, we'll update the cache and we'll install xterm and after that we'll put xterm in our xstartup file so by doing this we will get xterm session in our vnc server Here, xterm is installed. Now, let's put it 
in X startup file. So comment out the start xfce 4 and uh, put X term at the end of the file and save it and now we will restart the VNC server. So just run Kex and it will start the VNC server and we'll check if it is working or not. So let's run our VNC client app. Okay, now you can see the X term session is running now. Now let's uh, run start xfce 4 in X term session to check for the error that caused the blank screen is. Okay, you can see it's a failed to close the file descriptor for child process. So this is the reason of the blank screen. Uh, maybe it's uh, due to some Android uh, restrictions like in Android 12 and 13. So I tried uh, other desktop environments and uh, desktop managers like DWM, Openbox, uh, Fluxbox, LXQT, LXDE, IceWM and uh, by the way IceWM is my personal favorite so let's install it. So to install it just uh, put sudo apt install IceWM. By the way it's a lightweight window manager. It won't take much resource from your uh, device so yeah. By the way, I prefer this in my root version as well. So, if you like uh, performance over uh, appearance, you should definitely check this out. You will get a Windows uh, 98 like uh, appearance. I mean, you can uh, configure it as per your requirement, but yes, uh, it's good. You can also try LXQT. LXQT is also working and uh, it uses uh, Openbox window manager. Okay, so here installation is done and uh, we'll have to check IceVM if it's working or not. By the way, it will work. So we will put IceVM dash session in our XC startup file and save it and let's uh, restart our VNC server. So just run kex if the VNC server was running before it will kill it and restart it again and let's check this out in VNC app. Okay now you can see it's visible now. <laughs> I know this is like Windows 98 but yes uh, you can run all your GUI apps in IceVM. As I already mentioned before you can check uh, LXQT. LXQT is uh, similar like LXD, I mean in appearance. So yes, uh, you can run all your GUI apps in uh, IceVM as well, I mean IceWM. Now it's running good, so let's change the geometry of the screen. Currently it's uh, oversized for my own screen, so let's change it. So we have to change the geometry from the script that the NetHunter install script uh, put in our rootfs. So just edit the text file and put geometry according to your uh, preferences. I am putting uh, 13636 into 768. So um, if you will use or you want to use uh, your VNC server in your laptop screen then I think it's uh, a better option. Now let's check again how it looks now. Okay, now I think it looks better than before. Okay, so the last thing that uh, we need to fix is browser crashes. Okay, so the browser crashes, right? To fix this issue, we only need to uh, enable sandbox mode in our browsers. Even if you will try chromium it will prompt you to enable sandbox mode okay, so if we, you are using firefox then go to firefox config just enter about colon config in address bar and hit enter and accept the risk and continue now search for uh, security sandbox content label 
which is here and change the value from 4 to 0 after making the changes so set close the browser and restart it again and uh, check if it's working or not just open a web page well this video seems a little bit longer than my previous ones but uh, yeah do let me know if you have any further issues and that's all for this video now